We don't want to basically fund two sides of the exact same conflict. Ohio Republican Senator J.D. Vance, President Biden asked for $106 billion in aid from Congress. Hey. Ukraine, Israel, the border, and countering China. I'm surprised as a Republican that the issue you're talking the most about is not the U.S. border. What? Why? Well, we care a lot about the border, of course, but what I'm saying is that we should divide the packages and actually have distinct debates on each one of these questions, especially the Israel issue, for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, Israel needs the aid, and they need it immediately. Second of all, there's broad bipartisan consensus that we should be supporting Israel. And third, and most importantly, we're stretched way too thin. Uh, the president's budget request betrays a fundamental misunderstanding, I think, of the challenges in the country. Ah! We cannot support a three-pronged conflict in the war. We don't make enough weapons. Our manufacturing capacity is too weak. We need to pick and choose. To pick and choose, Congress has, needs to have a real debate, not collapse these packages together and pretend we can do everything at once. We can't. So let's unpack some of what you said there, because um, you are talking about the exact same amount for Israel that President Biden is talking about. Sure. It's roughly $14 billion. Um, but you've removed humanitarian assistance to Gaza. Leader McConnell was on this program last Sunday, and he supports the package. <laughs> Here's what he said. Well, we want to make sure we're not sending money to Hamas. Who delivers the humanitarian assistance? Fundamentally, Hamas is in control of the entire territory. So if you deliver a large amount of humanitarian assistance, who's it going to go to, the children in Gaza or to the Hamas fighters on the front line? But I think there's still a lot of evidence with a lot of these international organizations that when we send aid into Gaza, a lot of it goes into the wrong hands. And that's what those of us who are critical of the president's posture are really worrying about. We don't want to basically fund two sides of the exact same conflict. <laughs> fund Hamas, fund Israel. It seems like a really bad deal for American taxpayers. Most of all, it's just stupid. Well, it's not aid to Hamas. What? It's aid to hey. the Palestinian people. Sure. And, and, and look, a million it, of which are children. And if I could wave a magic wand and give aid to the Palestinian children, I will. But given the realities on the ground, I think if we divert resources to Gaza, it's going to fall in the wrong hands. Um, I think that we should be trying to de-escalate the situation. Of course, certain militia groups have attacked, and I think we've done the right thing, a proportionate response. If they hit us, we have to hit them back. But if you're talking about an attack on the Iranian mainland, mm -hmm. I think that would be a significant escalation. Right now, it would be a mistake. Uh, the goal here is not to have an this unlimited response, an unlimited response here. The Israelis themselves, I think, have scoped the operation. They seem to be targeting a very narrow thing, which is degrading Hamas. I think we have to have some respect for our Israeli allies that they know what they're doing in their own country. One place you sure. be very clear that you aren't giving them the benefit of the doubt, and that is to Ukraine. We just right. heard the new House Speaker. You have some similarities with him in terms of separating out Israel aid from Correct. Ukraine aid. Well, nothing is objectional in the sense that if I could wave a magic wand and throw Putin out of Ukraine, I would. But what we have to accept is there's a difference between what should happen and what can happen. <laughs> we have a rising threat of China. <laughs> There are weapons the Taiwanese need that we can't send because we sent them to Ukraine. So to your we have to focus this particular policy. We have to be careful, Margaret. We have to remember that we cannot flip the switch and turn back on America's industrial might overnight. We don't have enough capacity to support a three-front war. We've got to focus, and I think we should be focusing on Israel and Taiwan. We don't want to basically fund two sides of the exact same conflict. Fund Hamas, fund Israel. It seems like a really bad deal for American taxpayers. Most of all, it's just stupid.